I just found out how many bodies my wife is hiding in her closet, so I blew up our marriage, but it'll never compare to how many strangers she's blown. My wife, 44F, and I, 43M, have been married for 20 years. We started dating in high school when I was a junior and she was a senior, though we were long distance for her first two years of college while I was in high school and did one year at community college. Then we went to college in the same city for a year and have lived together since. We got married the summer after I graduated from college. Our marriage has been pretty great so far, but I initiated a divorce after I discovered that she was sleeping with multiple other men during the two years we were long distance. Just after Christmas, we got together with a few friends of hers from college to catch up, have dinner, and hang out. We talked about a lot of stuff, and my wife mentioned that we met in high school, not that we dated, just that we met. Her old college roommate commented that it was crazy that we met in high school, had a few wild years in college, then ended up together. I played along and commented that I didn't know if my wife was as crazy as I was. The roommate started to tell a story, but my wife cut her off and said she was uncomfortable about it. I sensed something was up, so I said that we actually started dating in high school and were together for my wife's entire time at college. All of my wife's friends got real quiet, and the rest of the dinner was awkward. On the way out, one of her other roommates took me aside and said I should have an honest conversation about what happened at college. I asked my wife on the way home, and she kind of blew me off. I told her it was important that she was honest with me, and again she said it wasn't important. When we got home, I told her I was going to stay at my brother's house until she was ready to talk about what happened in college. The next day, she came over and admitted to sleeping with several men during her first two years of college. She said she didn't consider it a big deal at the time because we were long distance, and she didn't think a high school romance would last. I pressed for more details, and she said it was at least 10 different men, including at least three guys she introduced to me as friends when I came to visit on weekends and one guy she was still in contact with. At that, I told her that I wanted a divorce and would be starting the paperwork as soon as I could, which I did on January 2nd. Her family and most of my family are telling me I shouldn't throw away my marriage over a few mistakes. I've stood by my belief that cheating on me with multiple men for years is unacceptable, no matter when it happened, and the fact that she continued to maintain relationships with these guys right in front of me was an unacceptable amount of disrespect. We have two children, but they are 17 and 19, and I believe they will understand why I need to end the marriage. Am I wrong for leaving? I feel like I'm going crazy with the amount of people telling me to overlook years of infidelity and decades of lies. Edit. I can't answer every question slash comment, but I wanted to provide some detail for some common questions. The reason I posted this is that my wife and a few friends have been saying it's common to sleep with other folks when you're in a long distance relationship and that I'm kind of the odd one out for not sleeping around. I felt like I was being gaslit, but I wanted an outside perspective. We live in a state with a waiting period to finalize a divorce, so I felt it was a reasonable idea to get some insight before things are finalized. After these comments, I see a handful of folks saying it's normal to sleep around during a long distance relationship, but it seems to be a significant minority. The one guy we're still in contact with married a mutual friend from college. This isn't some guy she secretly messages on the side, he's somebody we've talked to regularly for years. I've talked to him a few times since I learned about my wife. He said he didn't know we were dating at the time and has since blocked my wife on social media. I'm not getting a paternity test unless my kids want to get one. I don't have any doubts that they are biologically mine, and no test will make them not my kids. I love them more than anything in the world, and my wife's infidelity won't change that, even if one or both of them are not biologically mine. They've been my kids for 19 years, and they will be my kids until I stop breathing. I was open to therapy or some kind of attempt to save the marriage, but her insistence that this type of thing is common and I'm the one who's out of line is just too much for me. The only time she showed any remorse or even offered to reconcile is when I started filing paperwork. In the last week, she's gone back to saying she's right and I'm overreacting. This is also why I feel like I'm being gaslit. It seems obvious that this is a major issue, but I've got my wife and others telling me it's normal and I'm overreacting. Update 1. I wanted to provide some updates here as my original post got a lot of traction. My wife and I are seeing a couple's counselor and have been to three sessions now. First, let's talk about the things I learned about the situation in college. After talking to my wife in sessions and texting with two of her roommates, it's clear that her roommates knew something was up in college. They said they thought the situation was weird and likely involved cheating. My wife had told them that we both had some wild times in college and worked it out before we got married, so they never really brought it up. The roommate who pulled me aside recently was uncomfortable with the fact that my wife clearly didn't talk it through with me and wanted me to know. As far as being introduced to guys she slept with, apparently that was not intended. For one of the guys, he ended up dating and then marrying one of our mutual friends from college. This is the guy she was in contact with. In the other situations, she initially blamed me in the counseling session, but has now agreed it was bad. When I went to visit her, she planned to hang out in the room or just hang out together alone, but I wanted to go to a few parties because in high school and community college, I didn't really have parties to go to. She didn't expect me to meet the guys, but they were at the parties, and she felt she didn't really have a choice. I still think this is kind of crappy, but it's not as bad as her intentionally parading me in front of the guys. Most of our discussion in therapy has been about why I think it's a big deal and why she doesn't. Initially, she said that none of these guys were in relationships with her, and it was mostly one-night stands or friends with benefits. Since she didn't view them as romantic relationships, she didn't see the big deal, her words, not mine. My opinion is that we never said that was okay, and she actively prevented me from doing the same. After delving into this over two sessions, and with my wife talking to some friends, she now agrees that it was a breach of our trust and relationship. 
This shared understanding has helped us talk about this situation more honestly and move from arguing to conversing, which is why I'm optimistic about co-parenting. Now, here's why I'm 100% set on divorce. Two things came up that made me want to leave the marriage. First, about 10 years ago, we went through a really rough patch and had a dry bedroom for about two years. She had expressed that our bedroom life was becoming boring, so I tried to spice things up, nothing crazy, just roleplay and expensive toys. Apparently, she had been hung up on some intimate experiences that happened in college, that she is not comfortable talking about, and wanted me to try them, but when I did, it made her feel awkward and guilty that it made her think of other men while she was with me. The fact that she's saying these experiences were meaningless, but they're still impacting our marriage tells me they meant more than she wants to say. Second, she admitted that she has been flirting with co-workers on business trips since the pandemic ended. She says she has never slept with anybody, but it got as far as going on a date with one of her male co-workers, and that was the absolute deal-breaker for me. We have told our children that we're getting a divorce. We explained to them that it was due to some bad decisions that we made in college that we're having trouble moving past. My 19-year-old, who is in college, asked me if I cheated on my wife while she was away at college. My wife got a little shaken up, but admitted to the kids that she's the one who cheated. We have agreed not to share any additional details with the kids. I reinforced that both of us will be there for the kids and that we are in therapy to help make sure we handle this in the best way for the family. I also told the kids that if they wanted to talk to either of us or a therapist about it, I would fully support it. We've started talking to a mediator about how to proceed with the divorce, and unless things change, we should be able to have an amicable divorce. We're both financially stable on our own, we have no major debts, and our kids are older, so custody isn't a major issue. These past couple of months have been tough for me, but I'm doing okay now, and I honestly am grateful that my last post blew up because it both validated some of my feelings and motivated me to go to counseling with my wife. Edit. I'm pretty sure that she's already looking. We've had one meeting with an equitable divorce mediator, and she specifically stated that we are married until the divorce is final, and any funny business that happens before that date could jeopardize the amicable divorce settlement. It seems kind of dumb to me since we're getting divorced due to infidelity, but my soon-to-be ex was visibly grumpy when that came up. I also imagine that the fact that I'm living in the guest room isn't helping her prospects. At the end of the day, I'm doing my best to try to accept that our marriage is over, and I've been going to therapy on my own, in addition to our couple's therapy, to help deal with it. I'm mentally prepared for the fact that there's a good chance I'll see the co-worker she only dated again, but I'm also hopeful that I can find a place and be ready to move out before the divorce is finalized. If everything goes well and we can create a plan with a mediator, we will be divorced by summer, I will be in my own place, and she can just date whichever co-worker she wants.